Okay, so I'm sitting around, kind of bored here this afternoon, and I decided to do a quick video on uh, a camera's field of view. Now, my one camera, Sony CX110, um, I have no idea what the field of view is on it. Well, I do now after doing this. I mean, I'm pretty sure what it is. But, uh, you know, like when it comes to buying these uh, action cams, sports cams, whatever, and they'll have uh, 90 degree lenses, 120 degree, 170 degree, 180 degree, this and that. You know, what, what exactly does that mean, and, and how does that relate to your current camera? So, what I did was, I took my 12 inch speed square, which has the degrees on the outside there. See, 45. 45 is center on the pivot point here. Um, and I made this handy dandy little, little pop up chart here where I put zero at 45. Alright, so if I set my camera down and I center it on the pivot point, hold my pop up chart up, you'll see that. I'm right about 50 degrees from one to the other. 50 degrees. Alright? So, that's a basically a 50 degree field of view, you know, give or take a couple degrees. Um, which is good to know, because uh, I never knew that before. Now, what I have here, in addition to that, a while ago, I bought me a, a wide-angle lens. I can't remember if I bought it off of eBay or Amazon or whatever. And it's a... Uh, it says professional HD 0.45 times wide angle lens. Okay. Now, I don't know how professional it is because it was like five bucks. Of course, I had to buy the adapter rings for it and this and that to get to fix my, fit my camera. So, let's see what that says when I put it on the camera. So, this is a 0 times 0.45, which I never really, you know, paid any attention to or had any, ever had any concept of, of how this worked. Okay, so now I, I have the wide angle lens on there and I'm gonna center it on the pivot here hold my chart up here and now I'm just past 70 on each side alright 70 degrees so we could call that maybe 70 oh 72 once we get centered maybe 70, 72 degrees something like that so as you can see I have a 20 degree wider field of view with that 0.45 times wide angle lens now I'll show you how I'll show you how you figure out if you look for a wide angle lens how wide your field of view will be so we take uh, oh crap just a second I'll be right back okay sorry about that I had to get my phone calculator uh, alright so the original which I took the wide angle lens off now to do this here so we were basically 50 degrees so if we times that by 0.45 equals 22.5 so this wide angle lens basically adds 22 and a half degrees to my camera's 50 degrees which gives us 22 and a half degrees so that's pretty accurate um, so you know we're looking at you know 72 73 degree um, field of view with this lens on basically 50 degrees without the lens on so that's a uh, field of view for dummies. Oh yeah, and then, then I have, uh, I bought this uh, Inov C3 camera, and this is a 90 degree lens on here. Uh, well, supposedly 90 degrees. I haven't really taken the time to measure it yet. Um, so we'll put that down, and I'll give you a a view from the Inov. Oh, yeah, one more quick thing here. Let me just show you here. If you wonder about fisheye, if you look at... If you, you're looking at this at a flat plane here, which is the way the camera sees it or eye sees it. So, if you're starting at 45, which is basically zero, your degree marks, they're closer together, closer together. Then, as you get out to your 90 degrees, they're further apart. They almost double in width. I measured it um, at 45 degrees. It's about an eighth of, a de uh, eighth of an inch per degree that... Uh, about an eighth of an inch per degree. And then by the time you get up to 90, 
you are at uh, basically a quarter inch, so it doubles, all right? So in order, like the way the, the camera people have not been able to replicate the, the uh, amazing function of the human eye, so in order to get um, the wide angle, they have to, the distance, basically they have to have a, a triangle, you know, a, a true three-sided triangle. So if we're at 12 inches there, being a 12 inch speed square, it would only make sense. And for 90 degrees, if we go out to zero, which is 45, we are, um, you're like three and three eighths inches beyond the plane. So a 90 degree lens has to compensate for that. All right, now 50 degree, like my camera is stock, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 degree lens, I'll go on the inside here, it's easier. 50 degree lens is about nine and a half inches from 50. So then when we get to zero, which is 45, we're only three quarters of an inch. That's all that, that the lens has to correct. So a 90 degree lens, you have a three and a half inch arc you have to correct. That is in order to make everything equal, all right, to make all the degrees equal, equal spaced. So a 120 degree field of view is going to even be, you know, more pronounced than that. And that's why you get that fisheye, because you get that, that big bubble effect. Um, anyways, that's, uh, that's all I'd say about that. So uh, I hope uh, this either put you to sleep like an ASMR video or, or uh, gave you a little info. All right, that's it. Bam! See ya!